Today is the day. I believe what's inside this box will make me very happy today. This is it. For a very long time, I actually am thinking about shooting more with primes for work, especially because I, I've been just so lazy with the 24 to 70. Like it's a very well-rounded lens, especially for event photography. But like shooting with prime is just so much more fun. And I feel like with the 35 millimeter, and now that I have, well, I still have this 85. If I start shooting more with the, like just these two prime for events or for like just a lot of shoots that I do, I'll probably get like an arrow lens 85 instead of like just keep on using the 24 to 70. Don't get me wrong, the 24 to 70 is phenomenal. It's just a phenomenal lens and it's great for many many things i'm simply considering about this just because it's more fun for myself whenever i'm working and especially if i go out i think just bring like the 35 and the 85 and that's that's probably all i need yeah Gonna do like a long exposure here. Handheld, still like ISO 100, F16. lot of places where you feel like you have to just go multiple times because there are always great photos that you can make out of that place and this place is definitely one of them this is in Houston I think it's the Glassdale Art School but I feel like every time I come over here there are always like an angle that I forgot or that I didn't see before so it's always fun to revisit and just to check out the place again and make more photos out of it. Like I've done so many photos here, graduation photos, portrait photos, street photography, and like just the design of the building is it's very photogenic. That's, that's all I can say. So, so far, I really like this lens. Like the size of it, the form factor, just pretty much everything about this lens. Okay, when I first saw it, I thought it was a little ugly. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's because of the, the lens cap over here and then kind of like, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I feel like it looks good. It feels good in the hand. I like holding my camera like this perfect grip it's not too small like the the 15 millimeter so i can switch hands just like this and it's not too heavy either this is just like a like a very good size and weight and i believe this is like the lightest 35 prime out of pretty much any 35 canon has ever made well okay it was series lenses except the you know, the 35 EF F2 and then also the RF 35 1.8. But any of the L series lens, 35, this is the smallest. 
Let me be the lightest, at least. Now, obviously, this is not as sexy as the Fujifilm X106 or any of the Leica lenses or Leica setup. This is a very traditional with a good grip, nice, firm, full frame mirrorless camera. Okay, I love the silhouette coming from these glasses. There's a lot of light coming through this, it makes great silhouette photos. But what I don't like is this. I mean, I know they're trying to celebrate something, but that just doesn't look good in photos. I think that guy earlier went to the restroom. I'm gonna wait for him over here. Cause um, I think it's gonna be a good shot. Alright, so I feel like this iris, this video aperture thing, um, I really hope that in a future firmware update that we can use this aperture ring for photos because right now whenever I'm taking photos, this ring does not work. Hopefully we can have that access and this way we'll have like more function for this front ring over here, even though I, I don't mind it since I always use aperture for this front ring already anyways but it's always nice to have like options where we can have more functions that we can assign to different buttons or dials speaking of video I also don't have a 67 millimeter thread like empty filter for this and I do have like step down rings because I have all of my filters in 82 millimeters this way I can step it down but it looks very ugly on this so I'm considering maybe not getting the empty filter first but maybe getting the black mist for 67. Hey how's it going? Much, man. Just kind of notify you guys if you have yeah. professional cameras we don't allow it here. So I had to end the photo shoot short because apparently I can take photos inside the building but not outside of it. But thanks for the heads up. Now let's get back to the 35mm lens. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's possible to use this iris aperture ring for photos. It's probably not gonna happen. Who knows, I'm not an engineer. But I do like the manual focusing ring here. It's very smooth, wide, and they're very tight as well. It's not too loose. And I also like the clicky function ring that I use for aperture all the time for all of my lens. And on top of that, this lens is very sharp and the focus is just great. However, the before and after profile correction of this lens is kind of dramatic. Like, I, I really didn't expect an Aero series lens to perform like this. Like over here, if you take a look at this photos that I shot today, and this is before and this is after, the distortion is just everywhere and the vignetting the vignetting is so bad too now obviously after correction everything looks fine but if you're looking to shooting low light situations put it in 1.4 and then start shooting and then you raise the iso just know that the corners and like basically it has to correct for the corners so theoretically you have more noise around the corner areas and maybe if you're into vignetting and those kind of type of like photos then that's probably okay but for those of you who are not okay with that you know, keep that in mind. I don't know why Canon is making this kind of, like 35, it shouldn't be that hard to to correct, like physically, in my opinion. But it just feels like they are relying maybe a little too much on like post correction. So another thing that I wish Canon included in this lens is image stabilization, obviously. It makes the most perfect sense to have that in this lens, but however, it, it doesn't have it. And yes, if we have 
image stabilization, then this lens is going to be a bit heavier. But I don't think I personally mind that extra weight that much. The rattling of this lens was a little weird to get used to at first. I never had a lens that rattled like this, especially not an Arrow series lens. But honestly, it's not too bad. But other than that, I feel like this lens is phenomenal. Like just F1.4 is sharp, focus fast, smooth. If this lens is not your cup of tea, then definitely check out the RF35 F1.8 or the Sigma 35 f1.4 or perhaps canon is gonna make a photo focused lens on the 35 maybe f1.2 but then who knows how long it's gonna take for us to like see that i'd love to hear what you think about this lens and if you're getting it or not are you keeping it or are you returning it maybe you want to look into the sigma or the 35 f1.8 let me know in the comment section i would love to know what you think